morning, Jeremy. Morning, Grandpa. Did you sleep all right? Yeah. Your mother's in the kitchen, cleaning. Keeping busy, I suppose. Your grandmother loved these kinds of flowers. In time, they grow to outgrow their little clay homes. And they will only grow more as I plant them outside in new homes. What's going on between you two? Do you know how she told me about the divorce. What do you mean? <sighs> Jeremy, would you pray for us, please? What? Would you pray, please? Ah, uh, uh, I'll pass. Really? Mm -hmm. You've always prayed for us before. Well, it's not like there aren't other people who can pray here, you know? Martha, it's fine. It's not. It's fine. not. It's not fine. He's been like this since we left. Maybe I'm like this because I came home to find all my bags already packed for me. I did it so we could leave faster. You never even asked me. It's never mattered before. Things have changed. Martha, uh, wait. All I did was ask for you to pray. Why is that so hard? Why can't we just sit here and have a meal together? Because we can't. We can't just pretend like nothing's wrong. Grandpa's dying. You and Dad hate each other. I'm stuck here. I hate it. I'm sorry, Jeremy. She's the one who should be sorry. She's hurting too. <laughs> Do you remember why we're going? Grandpa's sick. The doctor said this could be this could be the last week. Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Why aren't you mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? Well, you're the only reason I ever believed. I could never be mad at you, Jeremy. But I can promise you this. While trusting God may be hard, it's everlastingly worth it. Completely, eternally worth it. He makes it so.